Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor, Elgato Gaming and the HD60 Capture Card. If you guys are looking to record your own gameplay, your FIFA 17, your COD, all of that good stuff at 1080p, 60 frames a second, then look no further than the Elgato HD60. I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can go and pick one up for yourself. So getting on in to today's episode then. Uh, this is our current Serie A team. I don't think I'm going to use that one first. I'm going to move on over to the Russian league team we actually seem to be getting a lot of success with this particular team at the moment uh, rather than any of the other ones for some some reason it feels pretty strong small of especially up front it's just a bit of a god um, so this is the other team that we have as well these are our, our three teams in total I've also got around 30,000 coins and my prizes from last week's foot champions to still come, um, which is quite cool. I thought I would focus today's episode on divisions. Um, we are in division 9. And, well, I decided to go into a match. I can't remember which of the three teams I'm actually using at this point in time. But we'll know in just a second. We come up against a Premier League squad, or an English squad, should I say, with Alex Hunter out at right wing. And he's got a Southampton Alex Hunter, which is... Unexpected. Uh, I've never come up against the right wing version. I've come up against a few strikers. Mostly people just have the striker version, right? Um, so I was a little bit shocked to see that. Um, a great save from Carasso there to stop us from going 1-0 down. We get into the box with Rhoda, but Joe Hart. Let me just tell you about Joe Hart. He was having an absolute worldie of a game. And, well, my keeper, apart from one good save at the start, wasn't. Because Alex Hunter scores a header from the edge of the box. What do you guys think about him? Do you think he should be on Ultimate Team? Let me know down below in the comments section. Um, at this point in time, when he's just scored against me, I'm saying no way should he be an Ultimate Team. But that's just me being salty because I conceded a goal. Uh, as you can tell, games are just so much more laggy in the seasons mode and in online single matches. It's so frustrating. Uh, you can't play exactly how you want to like you can on uh, for Champions. Now... We go 2-0 down, uh, literally on the turn of half time. Uh, I like the guy's kit, by the way. Does anyone know what kit that actually is? It was like fully black with a British flag on there. I think it looks quite cool. Um, at half time, those were the stats. We go on into the second half. Uh, I think I block this somehow. Yeah, I think Baal gets a touch on that one before it hits the post. It keeps me sort of in the game. Uh, we get through with Dembele here. Take the shot, but Joe Hart, once again, was having a bit of a stormer and just doing a great job in net. And at the end of the 90 minutes, we actually come away with a 2-0 defeat after we'd had more shots than my opponent. But for some reason, we weren't being very clinical and uh, we actually lose that game. So our record in Div 9 so far is one win, one draw, one loss. So not really sure what to think so far. Um, I come away with an injury and a whole host of people who need new contracts for the club. Luckily, I've got a few still left in the into the club, so we're, we're all good there. But Nzonzi, my star player, is now out for two matches, which means we can't use the hybrid squad. That was obviously the one that we were using in that game. Um, so I switch over to the Russian League, but I make sure I stick Nzonzi in the reserve so that he starts healing up nicely. Uh, and I'm keeping Danny in the... Uh, in the squad here rather than replacing him with Eremenko who I originally had in the team before he got injured because I like Danny he seems to be doing a good job he's got great pace and dribbling so why not keep him in we come up against a particularly nice looking Premier League team he's got the likes of Mares on loan he's got Musa up front uh, he's got that new Arsenal striker whose name is it Lucas Perez I think it is um, he's got him at center forward so it was a quite a nice looking team uh, but I felt quite confident from the get-go like we were doing all right I actually really do like this Russian League team. It's probably one of my cheapest ones that I've got. Um, but it's just super effective. Like, I love the 4-3-3-4. It makes me play how I want to play, almost. So, that's good. And this particular game wasn't very laggy either, either, which is obviously very nice. We get probably one of the dodgiest goals you'll ever see, to be fair, in the 21st minute. But it is that man again, Smolov, I believe. Was that Smolov? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it was either Smolov or Danny, but I'm pretty sure it was Smolov. Uh, he just slides in and gets that little tap in at the far post. Uh, Danny plays it into Promes, gets into the box... Look at all the bubbles. Look at I honestly am getting so frustrated when when I'm losing and I'm getting frustrated. It's mainly because I'm taking shots on goal and they are either getting saved by Jack Butland, who's a bit of a <laughs> wizard in goal, or the defenders are just blocking them. If as you can see in that half there, I had ten shots in the first half. We've only managed to convert one of them, which is pretty poor, and I need to work on that finishing. But I guarantee you a lot of those shots were blocked. Fantastic save once again, Jack Butland. I could not recommend him enough in goal. 
What an absolute hero he seems to be. Again, he's blocking another shot there. And I try something cool with Zagoev, but it doesn't quite work out. He does get into the box with Lucas Perez, but luckily for me, he went for one of those very low sort of finesse shots. Whereas he could have just belted it, and I'm pretty sure it would have gone past my goalkeeper. Butland keeping this guy in, to, in the game then. Uh, but we do get through here with Smolov in the 78th minute. Can he seal this game for me? No, pretty poor shot in all honesty. I didn't really get great angles on that one. And again, a good save from Jack Butland. Um, Danny then finds his way to Shatov, or it sort of finds his way there in the end. Uh, and eventually, after a few little bubbles and stuff, we do manage to finesse that one. Past the England goalkeeper and uh, solidify a 2-0 win. Thank the Lord for that one. We were all over this guy. Um, but I just, for some reason, couldn't seem to actually score the goals. Um, he Butland's up there from a corner and he takes a shot on goal randomly and I decided I'm going to, from this kick, I'm going to go with them one of them RB kicks which boots it quite far. Hopefully it would sort of roll towards goal. I think that probably would go in. I think just, but the, but the defender just about gets there. Um, wasn't rolling quite quick enough. But as you can see, annihilation. Uh, but we only get a 2-0 win out of it. But still, a positive uh, result for us means that we are now one win away from promotion in Div 9. Which of course is good. And probably two wins away uh, or a win and a draw away from getting the actual like league completed. And getting the, the coin bonuses for that. And we've got loads of games left. So that's all good there as well. Um, I decided at this point, at this juncture, I would switch it over. I noticed that I, I needed to still qualify for the weekend league in F Champions. Uh, so we switched over to Fut Champions and I figured, well, it'd be quite nice to play on uh, a nice server which is no lag. Uh, we can try out the Serie A team as well because this was a different day where the requirements weren't so stringent. You could use basically, I don't think there were any requirements actually to go into a game uh, in Fut Champions on this particular day. I recorded it on Wednesday, I believe it was. Wednesday evening. Um, we come up against a nice hybrid squad to be fair and right from kickoff he gives the ball away to Kondogvia who decides to go on a little run down the line, plays a lovely ball to Niang, I burbus bin the defender, little bit of tricky dribbling later, in and out and we just finesse it in off the post, fantastic way to start the game, 1 minute 50 on the clock, we scored a goal, we didn't even have kickoff. So that was about as good as it could have possibly gotten at that point in time. Uh, and that made me feel very, very confident in this game. This guy was playing a nice high defensive line, which means I could play that ball through to my heart's content. Carius made a great save from a terrible shot there from Ed Air. Uh, not really getting on with him too well from Cam. However, he made a good run again here and Niang plays him through. And that right there is a much better finish um, from from the... Is he Italian? I think he's Italian. Straight away, we don't even get the replay. This guy obviously quits out um, or loses connection. I'm sure he just rage quit, really. But I was a bit worried because we were only 15 minutes into the game. Is it going to count as a win for us? But eventually it did. Uh, and we do get through to the second round of Fut Champions, of which we come up against um, a pretty solid-looking Premier League team. Now, the last time... We played against Benteke. I think it was just for a main channel video. It wasn't uh, like a, a main squad builder video as opposed to Road to Glory. Um, and I'm pretty sure he scored like twice against me. And the guy messaged me saying, uh, calm down, mate. He just conceded two goals to a B-Tech Lukaku, which I found quite funny. I think it's because I beat him in the 90th minute. Um, but yeah, Benteke scores on me really early on. He seems to be my kryptonite at the moment. So good in the air. And obviously headers are a bit of a thing this year. Once again, I'm being sloppy in front of goal. Wanyama plays what is a lovely ball through to a Benteke who's just free. Don't know why. Why are my defenders not watching him? Um, and I give a stupid penalty away. Luckily, I don't get a red card for that one. And he slots it straight down the middle, really low. Almost as if he didn't know how to take a penalty, which is kind of frustrating again. Um, does that... Does that celebration, which is a little bit annoying as well. And he's 2-0 up. Two goals from Benteke. Wanyama then plays a, a ball through to Benteke. He scores a bloody third. He gets a hat-trick in 39 minutes against me. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, and we're 3-0 down. I'm guessing we're going out of foot champions at this point in time. We do, however, score a beautiful goal with Niang. A nice Berber spin to finesse shot. I've done that a couple of times with him uh, and various other players. And it's one of my favorite little techniques. If we get through one-on-one -on -one with a defender like that, I love to just cut back. Because normally they think... They're about to do that last resort tackle. So if you can just cut back on them, you're either going to get a penalty uh, or you're going to score a goal. Uh, Kucha, Kuka, manages to get himself injured for a whole bunch of games, which is fantastic. Um, so we have to switch him out, of course, and that means we're going to struggle. Uh, we're going to probably need to buy either a healing card, let him rest for a few games and buy another player. I'm not sure what to do there, um, but he is out for a little while. 
We were peppering this guy's goal and trying to get back into this match. And Muriel manages to score there. I thought it was sort of blocked off the line. But luckily, goal, nine, uh, goal line technology was called into play at this one. And uh, as you can see, the whole ball is definitely over the line. And it becomes 3-2. I was I was pumped at this point. I'm going to get back in this game. Um, but then, no, he just plays it to Wilfred Zaha and somehow... <laughs> Sticks it in the back of the net. No blocks or anything from my defenders. Uh, and yeah, I was. I think I was just outdone by a better player in this scenario. So congratulations to him. He can progress in the FUT Champions. And we are once again knocked out. I'm struggling this week. Uh, I'm going to give it one more shot in tomorrow's video. In the next episode of The Road to Glory. See if we can make our way to the Weekend League. If not, it will be too late. And we won't be able to qualify for this one. Um... So this was recorded Wednesday night. I also then recorded the next lot for the next episode on Wednesday night before the FUT Champions rewards from last week had paid out. So not next episode, but the episode after that will be able to see me get my coins and the pack that I earned from that. Uh, and, um, well... We'll see what we do from there. So uh, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you smash a like on it. And don't forget, of course, to subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.